Oh god! Oh! Buffaroos! Oh my god. Boga! We are definitely finishing dead last here. Welcome back to another episode of Playthouse My Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into Micro Machines 2 on uh, the Turbo Tournament on the Sega Genesis slash Mega Drive. This is uh, an old school classic. Um, I mean, do you guys remember Micro Machines? Micro, oh look, Party Play. Very cool. Micro Machines themselves were totally awesome. They're basically like mini tiny cars. And like, look at Micro Machines 2 up there. See that title? That is totally the logo of Micro Machines. I watched so many Saturday morning uh, commercials between my cartoons where I saw that slogan slapped on the screen after a well-phrased commercial to sell me little toy cars. So it's Micro Machines in video game format. I'm uh, actually, by the way, I'm more familiar with the first Micro Machines, which I think was on the NES. Um, but then again, I didn't even own that one. So, uh, you know... I, I don't know. Um, but basically, as you see here, Micro Machines... So the premise is it's a racing game where you're racing different cars and stuff. But it's basically like Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Like, you're you're in tiny land. So I guess we're racing in a garden there, and you can see giant flower pots and stuff. Let's go ahead and hop in here, and we can uh, see for ourselves. So we have challenge mode, head-to-head, -head, where the wrestlers... Or where the drivers arm wrestle. Super League and time trial. Let's just try a straight-up old challenge mode. See what we got. We have different uh, different drivers. We have the spider. That guy does not look like spider. That guy looks like the Fonz. This guy is like this guy could be well. Bruno actually, that's a good name for him. Dwayne. This guy is the. I mean, he looks like a doofus. Then we have Cherry, the like cocktail dress wearing uh, rich girl. Then we have a Jamaican dude, Jethro. And then this is like the Morticia, or no, she looks like a, a Spanish, you know, like dancer lady from like old times, like Zorro times. I don't know what this person is. Then we have a uh, hippie lady. We have Suli. Then we have Jeremy, just an average business guy. I got a, bi a big old fat guy with a soda. And then we have somebody's mom who got in the mix, Lisa. And then I don't know what, uh, a heel? Emil, I'm guessing. It looks like a heel. Man, look at all the look at all the drivers. Do the drivers actually make any difference, by the way? Does it matter who we pick? Here, let's just I, I'm just gonna pick someone at random. Okay, I've closed my eyes. We are going to be Suli. We will be Suli. Yes, so go ahead, change name. Oh, we can name her something else. Nah, Suli is fine. Alright, into the training camp. Race number one. So we're racing as a a a quad or no, not a quad, a, a tricycle thingy. <laughs> Whatever you'd call it. Um, okay. Uh, so we got Suli, Davey, Walter, and Maria. I don't know what the buttons are, but hopefully I will figure it out as we go here. Uh, I'm guessing I'm the red one. Yep, I am. All right, and off to the races. Interestingly, we picked a driver, but Suli does not appear to be on this thing. This is like Uniracers, where these things are just like sentient little uh, cars racing themselves. Um, so as you can see, it's, uh, it's, it's Honey, I Shrunk the Kids-ish in the, in the fact that you are racing these tiny, tiny cars. So we're, like, in a garden. You can see giant flowers and stuff around us. Um, by the way, do you guys remember Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? What a, what an awesome movie from the 80s that was. Uh, they don't make movies like that anymore. So I'm, like, a crazy experiment scientist dad who, like, accidentally shrinks his kids and then they, like, have to, like, walk through the backyard but it turns into some kind of, like, nightmarish jungle. Anyway, we've got second place there. Look how mad Walter was. He was, like, eating his steering wheel. Um, but, yeah, so we picked a racer, and then she wasn't even on the tricycle or whatever that we were supposed to race. Uh, crazy. All right, now we're Driller Killer. Challenge race with the rally cars. All right, let's do it. Um, so I only figured out the one go button. I don't know if there's more than one button or not here. Um, oh, God. Okay, now we're racing through, like, nails. Now this is, like, in Dad's workshop. Oh, God! We fell off the side of the table. Okay, things got way more dangerous here. Oh, we're off the side of the table again. Okay. This, uh, oh, we did, like, a jump. Oh, my God, I'm all over the track. Jeez, okay, if this this is, like, the second race, guys. If this is a sign of things to come. It doesn't, doesn't bode particularly well for us. I'm off the side of the track. Oh, my God, that's actually really hard. Oh, and there's, like, a drill that comes in and out. Damn it, off again. Okay, I, I'm rusty here. I prefer race... This is like racing Rainbow Road for the second race of Mario Kart. Like, give me a wall I can bounce off, man. For the love of God, I don't know this track. I'm a noob. I'm a straight-up noob. Oh, God. Off again. 
botch and what was the name? What was the brand of that drill? Botch? Oh my god, botch and something. Jeez, we are definitely finishing dead last here. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. We're third. Somehow there's somebody worse than us. Oh, and we just straight up died. Oh, look at, look at Sue Lee. She's like, no, no. And then she's like, okay, I'm okay. I'm good. I'm good. You failed to qualify. Do we get another chance? Oh, she lost a live. Oh, man, they killed her for that. They iced Sue Lee. They were like, nobody comes in third in Micro Machines. And they straight up, like, gacked her. Okay, let's see if we can go ahead and redeem Sue Lee here. I have a feeling that uh, this is going to take a couple of tries. So, uh, uh, you know, get ready for the long haul here. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, that guy fell off. Oh, the computers actually fall off, too. Okay. So I have a new strategy where I actually take my foot off the gas if it looks like I'm going to fly over the edge of the screen. Super lap! Auto winner! Oh, what? Auto winner? What the heck is that? I did a super lap, which means I guess I went really fast and so I automatically win. All right, I will take it. Suli, she went from being the worst to, like, being the best I'd ever seen. They're like, nobody's raced a, a lap that good ever. They're like, you're the automatic winner. There's no point in doing other laps. Imagine they did that in NASCAR, where, like, if one driver had, like, a really good lap, they were like, you know what? NASCAR is over, man. There's no point in continuing on here. This person has, has done such a perfect job that we're just going to let them go on forever. All right. We are, we are, however, back to our old, our old self here as we ping pong our way across the track, falling all over the place. We're on a beach now, which is kind of cool, racing through sand castles and stuff like that. That was not a super lap. They were less impressed by uh, by our performance there. Oh, there's like giant shovels and stuff. So very cool, very cool. So a cool thing about uh, Micro Machines 2 here is that it was actually released on a very special Sega Genesis cartridge called a J-Cart. Um, and basically, this, so this is kind of cool actually. So I, I always thought that Sonic and Knuckles was the like neatest sort of uh, game cartridge that existed out there for the Sega Genesis, because Sonic and Knuckles was basically like a game genie where you could plug other games in, but instead of acting like a game genie and giving you, like, cheats and stuff, uh, we lost there. But at least we stopped dying by the end. Um, it actually sort of redid some of your earlier Sonic games and let you play them again only as Knuckles, which is totally cool. Totally cool idea. The J card, however, is, is quite a bit different than that. It is also a unique cartridge, but instead of being like a Game Genie, instead it has two controller ports on the top of it. So you plug this cartridge into your Sega Genesis, and then you could plug two controllers into your Genesis, and then you could plug two controllers into the game cart itself. I've never heard of this before. Um, and basically what that would end up doing is it would allow you to play four players. Micro Machines, four players, tournament. I mean, it is a tournament edition, so it makes sense that they were going for four players. But how cool is that? I've never heard of that before. Normally, normally, if you wanted to play four players on like an NES or a Sega Genesis game, you would have to go and buy like a multi-tap, which is basically like something that would plug into your controller, uh, or yeah, to one of your controller ports, and it would give you like multiple control, like kind of like a USB hub, basically. So you could actually plug in more than two controllers at a time into your NES or Genesis. Um, but this is like built into the game cartridge itself, which is totally awesome. Um, I kind of wish, I kind of wish that I had like four friends to play this J car with, because that'd be totally cool. But uh, suffice to say, it's it's neat just to read about, and uh, so that was kind of a cool thing uh, about this game. You know, I've, I've said this before, but like back in the day of like NES and Sega Genesis, it was completely common for game cartridges to basically act like little add-on packs that provided more memory, more CPU power, more this, more that for the game system. Like if you look at the very first NES games ever produced, they're not very good compared to like the last run of NES games. And the NES didn't get more sophisticated more sophisticated in terms of its CPU or memory in that time. But what happened is people started to put CPUs and memories on the game cartridges, which made the NES basically a super enhanced NES. Um, they pulled the same trick with the Super NES with uh, the SFX chip in Star Fox to basically allow polygons in a system that was never built to show polygons. So, very cool idea when, like, the hardware that upgrades your system is the game cartridge itself. Anyway, we lost again, and Su Lee is uh, begging for her life. Game over. I reached race number three, the Sandcastles. And Su Lee's like, well, at least my torment is done and I can eternally rest now. So, okay, so that was the one-player mode. Party play, obviously, you need you need to have the J-Cart, and you can play four players at once. 
But, uh, oh, we can view our statistics. Let's go back to the one-player mode and see what we got going on here. We can do a head-to-head -head challenge. Interesting. Or Super League. What are all these things? Time trial? Let's try a head-to-head -head challenge. See what we got. And we'll go with, uh... Jeremy. That's who we got. That was random, guys. Again, close my eyes and let uh, fate take the wheel. And our new name will be... Will be J-Dog. You can't tame the wind and you can't tame J-Dog. J-Dog, he, uh, he runs to the beat of his own tune. They call him Jeremy in the office, you know, at, at his accounting firm. But uh, when he gets on the track, you can call him J-Dog. And we're going up against Davey. So maybe racing against, like, a single dude, it'll be easier. Wait, why is the screen... What is happening here? Bonus, J-Dog. What, what just happened there? Look, the screen is not scrolling properly. And if, if you get to the edge of the screen before the other guy... Oops, you get like a you get a bonus. Oh my god, he keeps messing me up here. Like I can't see where the turn's coming because the screen won't scroll. What the heck? Okay, so what? You have to like Oh my god. This is this is actually an interesting level of difficulty because you can't see the track that's coming up because the screen won't scroll for you. But if you get to the edge like that, you somehow get some kind of bonus and like screw the guy over. Okay, interesting. Oh, there we go. We just won. Ha! Huh. I've never seen a racing game do that. That's kind of an interesting way to, like, do a head-to-head. -head. So, yeah, we totally beat that guy. We beat the snot out of Davey. Nobody beats J-Dog. His calculations are impeccable. Now we get to race this, uh... Oh, we're still racing into Davey? Davey wants seconds. Well, that's okay. Oh, God, I almost flew off the table. Okay, Davey might have more of a shot on this race. Damn it. And, okay, now he got a bonus. Interesting. Um, I don't 100% understand this, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go with it. Oh God, where's the turn? Where's the turn, you jerk? I think the computer has a decided advantage on this track because when you can't see what's coming up ahead of you on a track where there's literally like pits to your death, that's a detriment right there. My God. So obviously you really have to learn these tracks. Obviously, you know people who own this game, kids who own this game, would get really good at knowing these tracks. So Davey just mopped the floor with us. We only got one win on Davey. What? That's ridiculous. Oh, look at now J-Dog's crying. He's like, nobody beats the J-Dog. Okay, so J-Dog lost. Everyone starts with three lives. Interesting. Okay, well, we don't want to keep doing this mode because uh, basically best we're going to do is see the beach again, but we've already seen it. Oh, we, well, there, there's no way to quit. <laughs> okay, hold on. All right, we've reset the game. Let's try one of the other game modes out. Let's try uh, Super League. Why not? What is Super League? And uh, this time we're going to be... I'm going to give it like a nice long chance to rotate. Take placing all bets, folks. I'm going to be Violet. All right. What, <laughs> I'm guessing Violet's a girl, but like does not look very feminine. She looks kind of crazy. That's okay, though. We like crazy. Crazy... Ooh, tiny treehouse. Yes. Okay. We finally race. We're finally racing in like a different zone. And oh, there's Sue Lee and there's Lisa. We're racing in someone's mom, uh, a, a fat guy who likes soda, and Sue Lee, our original racer. All right, here we go. And now we're racing his little jeeps. Did these? Did, oh God! And we fell off the treehouse already. Do these little cars like actually do anything? Like, like, does the game play differently when you're like a little tricycle versus when you're like a car versus like when you're jeep? Oh my god, this this game is so hard. It's like every race is Rainbow Road. Because uh, it, it kind of feels like it doesn't matter what we're racing as. Every car handles the same. So there's just there's like a little bit of novelty to like racing as these like different things. Damn it. But it doesn't really like do anything. Like gameplay wise, it doesn't really affect anything. I don't know. Maybe, oh god. Oh god, there's like pits. Oh, that guy's first already? I, I'm only just getting on my final lap. But I guess that shows just how far behind I am. So you really, you really need to learn these these laps, these these courses. Man, that was a brutal track. It's like every track's rainbow freaking road. Are you kidding? Walter kicked my butt. Do we get we get again? Oh, it just keeps going. All right. So this is how we're gonna get to see more tracks. Losing in the Super League. Losing hardcore in the Super League. Um, oh man, we're jumping. The tracks obviously have some differences and stuff going on. We. What happens if you just, like, forget about the race? Oh, it, like, destroys you if you go too far off target. 
Gotcha. So you can't just like free roam around uh, this miniature world. Oh my god. I like to imagine that all the racers in this game were magically shrunk down like by, by Rick Moranis' shrinking gun. Now they're like racing for survival for like the right to be re-enlarged and returned to a normal society. You know, it's like some kind of like cruel like, you know, Thunderdome of racing where like only those who impress Rick get to become normal size again. And he's just like going around like maybe it's like a serial killer. He's going around shrinking people and forcing them to race in like micro machine races until he's like appeased. He's like, entertain me or die. That's a really dark Rick Moranis right there. But uh, it could happen. It could happen. He doesn't act very much anymore, but who knows? Maybe he'll come back for that movie. Maybe if he watches this video. If Rick Moranis is a fan of my channel and he's watching this video, maybe he's thinking, hmm, that would be a good idea for a horror movie. I should do that. Honey, I shrunk you, is what you could call it. Then you could have a picture of a Micro Machine beside it. Sponsored by Micro Machines 2 Tournament Edition. I don't know. Um, the other racers, by the way, are just gone. They're just like, they're, they're just like, oh my, oh my god. Oh no, there they are. There they are. They're not gone. They're lapping me hardcore. Okay, now I'm on my final lap and we're totally going to lose again. You know what? Violet's not very good at this. I will say, like, I'm disappointed in Violet. She's not a very good racer. I was expecting more from her. I personally am disappointed in this Violet person. She kind of sucks at this, to be totally honest. I mean, I don't want to say anything, but it's pretty embarrassing. Violet, you're not very good. Ugh, why don't you just quit? Nobody likes you, Violet. Um, I mean, they'd like you if you were better at this game, but... Um. All right, Rim Runners in Dragster Cars. Did you guys have Micro Machines, by the way? Do you guys know what Micro Machines are? I, I never know if people, like, like know the same like childhood things I do, like Gumby and stuff like that. Do people know Gumby? Um... You know, but do, pe do people know Micro Machines? I remember Micro Machines were totally cool when I was a kid. Everybody wanted them. They're just like tiny little race cars. That's all they are. But, uh, in fact, they, I think there were Hot Wheels, which were normal-sized, like, little cars. And then there were Micro Machines, which were even smaller. And it was like, it's even smaller. It's even cooler. Like, for some reason, kids, like, really liked it because it was even tinier. Um... And I don't know if Micro Machines are still a thing. I mean, I, I'm not a collector, and I don't randomly... Wander into the toy section of, uh, of, you know, stores these days and just buy kids' toys. I don't even know if Micro Machines still exist, if they're still solvent as a company or anything like that. But they were cool when I was a kid. They were cool. Um, all right. Let's see where we're racing this time. Oh, we're back to this. There's, like, an open switchblade just on the table or, like, a box-cutting knife. Is that is that okay for, like, a kid's game to just have, like, a literal blade? You know, kids are racing here in car form, but they're still racing. Oh, my God. I'm so bad at this game. I was actually... Oh, there's a freaking chainsaw. Jeez. I was actually looking forward to this game uh, because I thought it would be a little more like RC Pro-Am, which is an old NES game that I'm not bad at, actually. That one actually has walls, though. It's not... Every, every, every course is not a rainbow road. But if this game had walls, I think I would do a lot better, but... This is very bad at. Or I thought maybe this would be like uh, off road, like Ivan, Ivan Iron Man's super off road or whatever, which was a great arcade game. What happens if you run into this? You die. Which is a great arcade game that I loved as a kid, and I also loved the NES version. Although eventually Ivan Iron Man or whatever just totally start cheating and go super fast. I think RC Pro Am pulled the same thing, where like the beige car at some point would just be like, forget it, and like gun it into like afterburner mode, and then like you could definitely not catch up to that car, no matter how many upgrades you had. Um, but RC Pro Am, that was a good game. And that was another game about racing miniature cars. You're racing RC cars in theory, which is kind of cool. Which actually makes more sense than little uh, ghost cars being piloted by people who you never see in the car or on the bike, but somehow they're being piloted by them. Um, okay. So now what happens is people get promoted. And now we continue to race. So we're in, we're in like the... Hey, what? J-Dog is racing. Oh my god, J-Dog is here? Do you want to race again? Yes. Is J-Dog's hanging around with Violet? <laughs> you know what's funny? Every racer we have played has ended up in this garbage bin. We have Violet, J-Dog, and Suli. Lisa is bad of her own accord. But look how bad I am. Everyone I play, it's like the curse of death. They end up in this, like, uh, garbage zone. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Okay, can we actually... Since we've raced this once before, can we actually do... Damn it! Ugh. I was going to say, can we actually, like, just place? Oh, my God. 
Oh my god! Ah, oh, damn it! No! Uh, it doesn't even tell you what place you're in. Oh yeah, it does. You're, you have positioning on the left-hand side there, and we're dead last. Dead freaking last. Ooh, there's candy. Candy in the treehouse. There's the first place guy. Come to lap me. Come to humiliate me. I hope that's J-Dog. If that's J-Dog, I will be happy, because then at least, like, in some way, I won, even though I didn't win. But, uh, you know, I have some connection to the winners, like three degrees of separation from a guy who can actually race his track. What do we got? Who won? J Dog! Yeah, baby! Yeah, baby, that's all me! I, 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 I'm the guy who believed in J Dog when nobody else did. <laughs> it's, a, it's a stretch, guys. A stretch to claim victory, but, uh, but it is what it is. Um, you know what, here? Let's actually check out a different game mode here. Let's see if there's any other game modes left to check out. Okay, all we got left is a time trial. Let's just see what we got going on here. Okay, we're going to pick someone. Boom, Walter. Nah, you know what? I I'm actually going to have, like, some decision here. Let's actually, let's go with Spider. <gasps> he looked, he looked badass. And if we can't win with Spider, we can't win with anyone. Whoa, the roller coaster. Wait, hold on. The roller coaster. What other tracks we got? Driller Killer, Garden Jumps, Treehouse, Rim Runners, Stream Struggle. Oh my god, look at all these. Okay. We gotta try a couple more of these. I just like the variety. Even though I'm not very good at this game, I like the variety of track. Let's just do one lap. Uh, press A to start. Okay. Okay. Oh, press A and start. I was like, wow, that's that's weird. I wonder why they wanted you to press both buttons there. That didn't make a lot of sense. Okay, we're just going to take our time, guys. Oh, God, where are we? We're, we're like, bouncing around in, like, uh, this is, like, a granny's, like, sewing table or something. I don't know where we are. Just going to take our time and try not to die. Try not to die. That's our only mission, and we failed. Okay, that's okay. It's okay to die once in this world. Oh, there's, like, paint and stuff. This is, like, a craft table. We went in this one. Oh my god! Oh, thank god that was a wall. They, for once, they didn't just have like a giant pit. Oh god, what is this? What the heck? There's like a paint a paint roller? Oh, whoa, weird. That's kind of cool. Um, are we done? There we go. I, I, I couldn't accelerate there. New lap record. That's good. Uh, race again? No thanks. Um, oh, wait, I do want to race again. Okay, hold on. We're going to select Spider again because he's our good luck charm. Oh, shoot. I don't want to change his name. Just go ahead. And, okay, let's see what other... So we've done the treehouse. Ooh, Ferrari fiasco. Let's see what this is all about. One lap again. A and start. I wonder why the, it's like that safety thing. It's like, oh, we don't want them to start by accident. Make it A and start. Oh, God, this car is too fast. You know what I've learned is the cars that are fast... Oh, my God, what the heck? Cars that are fast. Oh, look at this! You gotta ride a piece of bread or a sponge over a sink or something. The cars that are too fast are actually no good for me because, like, I can't control myself. Those are, like, sugar cubes and stuff. Very inventive levels, I will tell you that. It also kind of reminds me a bit of Chip and Dale's Rescue Rangers because they were all, they're little chipmunks, so they're, they live in a shrunk down world. For them, it's just, like, how it goes. And I'm pretty sure that, uh, for Chip and Dale's, they were also, like, uh, big size things, you know? Um, okay, there we go. We did it! New lap record! We're just setting records all over the place. Alright, let's see. Basement bumps. I like the idea of that. Wine on! Oh my god. Okay, let's try basement bumps. We'll only try a couple more of these guys because, uh, you know. Watching, watching me do poorly at Micro Machines probably wears a little thin after a while. Just wanted to see what the basement looked like. Oh, and it even has, it's sort of like it's dark. Like the edge of the screen is like black. It's kind of interesting. And oh my God, it's so hard to actually see the track. So yeah, you definitely would have to play this a lot as a kid to kind of like learn the levels and stuff. There's so many hazards, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. This is crazy. I've never seen a game with this many hazards. Whoa, oh, we bounced off a of spider's web. That's something. And we passed the level. 25 seconds, beat that chumps. Nobody can beat that because I'm the best. And then we'll race again. There was a boat one. Oh man, racing a dump truck? That actually sounds awesome. Okay, we gotta try this one. Okay, we'll try this and the boat level. And if there's an air level, we totally gotta try that too. I don't think I don't know if they made micro machines that were airplanes, but um, okay, this is a dump truck racing around like uh, peas and mashed potato 
Thanksgiving dinner, and there's the fork. There's like little uh, nuts and stuff and wine. Mom's been mom's getting into the sauce again. That's the drinking. And wine spilled all over the table. Wine and hurt feelings. Um, okay, just keep racing. Thankfully, somebody laid out this little track of peas. I wonder if did kids actually do this. So not only did you own a micro machine, but if you did, did you set up little tracks and stuff like this and race your micro machines? I feel like I would not have done this. Um, but I do remember as a kid, remember, like, you could get uh, racing tracks of electric cars, and you could, like, build a track, then you put the cars in, then you, like, hold a gun that has, like, a trigger, and it would, like, make the cars go around the track, and you could, quote-unquote, race in that. I mean, there was nothing to the racing, because the cars were, like, on a track, basically, so they always went around, so there was nothing to race, but it was kind of fun to, like, watch them go. Um, I don't know if they even still make those anymore. Like, are, would kids even be interested in, like, old-school, like, electric cars on, like, a little racetrack? I don't even know. But I remember owning them and building them. It was There's more fun building the track and watching the cars go around once or twice than to, like, sit there and watch them go over and over and over again. Anyway, new lap record yet again, because we're the best. Well, let's see what else there is. Garage games. Oh, my God. Water chase with an evil frog. Hovercraft. I like that. Pool salon. Look at all this. I like how you could just go and try all these tracks with this mode. So it lets you practice. Oh my god, Pipe Patience! Okay, we gotta do this. This is a pro level for choppers. We're gonna go ahead and give this a shot. I guess they did make micro machines that were flying. Press up and down to change height. Whoa! That's cool. So, how do we know if we have to go up or down? I don't even know. I'm just, I'm going so gingerly here. Okay, you go up. Up! Up. Oh, no, you press down. Sorry. Uh, up and down are reversed. Interesting. So you press down to go up and then up to go down. i not a fan of that part, but we down we go. <laughs> that's cool. That's that's neat. I've never seen a racing game that let you race as a helicopter and there were like two heights to do. It's kind of cool. Uh, more beaches, ups and downs. Oh, look at that car. That, that's a beast hemoth right there. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, then there's the pool. All right, let's try the beast hemoth, and then we'll end on the boat. And then we, we then we can say that we've, we've seen and done it all. We know Micro Machines 2 Tournament, Turbo Tournament Edition, back and forth. Oh, it's a little, like, musical level. That's cool. Okay, this, this car looked way cooler in the... Oh, there's a little uh, xylophone thingy. This car looked way cooler. Oh, you jerk! This car looked way cooler in the previews. It looks like a dump truck. It looks just like the dump truck now they're actually racing it. So some of these cars, some of these cars look better in theory than in practice. So there you go. Um, oh God, avoid the, avoid the evil xylophone thing. Oh, get away from me. It's like that bad guy in Rick and Morty, uh, Concerto or whatever. And then they get saved by Jaguar at the end. Um, concerto, he's like has him tied up to a piano and he's gonna like hit smack them in the face with like the piano keys. All right, one more race, one more race, and we'll call it a day. Where is it? Boats, stream struggle. You know what? I didn't have a lot of micro machines as a kid, but boats, toy boats fascinated me. Little plastic toys that floated in water were just super cool. I remember I had a little boat that when I was like really little, I would take in the bath with me. But I don't know if I had any other toys that I would take, like, camping or anything and put in the water. But toy boats. I was thinking about this, like, literally just the other day. They're, like, actually so fascinating. It's a little toy that floats. What isn't to love? Um, oh, we're, like, the current's, like, pushing us back. Interesting. So, yeah, yet another mechanic. It, it's kind of weird that only two levels. Or, actually, there was a hovercraft level that I guess we didn't try. But there's only two levels with, like, funky mechanics. So they went to all the trouble of programming in the helicopter and the boat, but then they only bothered to make like a couple of levels, like one helicopter level, and maybe two boat levels. We haven't seen the hovercraft level yet. You know what? We'll check that one out. I'll wrap up my thoughts on that one. But it's interesting they would add these extra mechanics and then like really not take advantage. You think they would want to make like a bunch of boat levels to like, you know, take, take uh, advantage of the fact that there are these extra mechanics in the game. But interesting. So I guess this one doesn't go in a loop. We're just sort of racing our way up a stream. Just kind of interesting. Oh my God! Speaking of toy, cool toys. Imagine an RC-controlled boat. That would be totally awesome. As cool as a boat is, imagine being able to control it. Oh my God! I used to love RC cars when I was a kid. I never had one, but thinking about it right now, an RC boat would be even better. An RC plane? Eh. 
I'm less I'm less impressed by that for some reason. But an RC boat, that is just awesome in my mind. I want to get one now, actually. <laughs> I'm an adult. I'm allowed, right? I'm allowed to splurge on these things once in a while. Okay, where was that hovercraft? It was over here somewhere. Unless they've taken it away. Like, Jay can't have too much fun. All right, the water chase. Oh, the chase. Maybe we're getting chased by a frog or something. All righty here. So, uh, Micro Machines. Oh, this is a totally different style of water race. My God. Fascinating. Fascinating. Um, so, Micro Machines 2 Turbo Edition is... Oh, and then it handles differently on the ground as opposed to the water. Whoa. Crazy. Interesting. I, I'm shocked they only bothered to make one hovercraft level. Or at least in the time trial. Maybe in, like, the actual tournaments and stuff, there's more than one. But this is kind of cool. Anyway, Micro Machines 2 Tournament Edition. Tournament, Tournament, Turbo, Turbo, Tournament is uh, one of the games in the book. A thousand one video games you must play before you die. And uh, so we're playing it here today as part of our quest to play through that book. Um, I have to say that, like, as a Sega Genesis game, I think this is, like, a solid little game. Um, I could totally see owning this and, like, you know, playing it one afternoon with, like, your brother, your friend from across the street or something like that. Like, I, I see this as, like, a very solid game. The thing that I don't see, the thing I dislike, is the fact that, like, there's so few walls in this that it's so easy to fall off cliffs. And, like, the second level... It is oh like he just punches him right in the face. I love that. This is multiplayer on the Sega Genesis. On Nintendo is like playing with a friend here. It's like rock'em sock'em robots with face punches. Um, but like right on the second race, the game got super hard, and I feel like for kids it would just frustrate them. Um, so like it's an interesting game. I like I like the concept of it. I like being shrunk down. I like all the different variety of cars and stuff. The levels were super creative. Um, and, you know, there's different kinds of vehicles. The helicopter was neat. You know, there's different racers. Like, they clearly put a lot of effort into this. I think the difficulty is just a little high for, um, for, like, you know, kids. I, I could see kids getting frustrated with it. I could also see kids have, being the only ones with patience enough to actually learn these tracks. So, it could cut either way. Um, at the end of the day, I think it's a, it's a decent game. I wouldn't say it's my favorite racer, again, because uh, it's so easy to fall off the cliff and just, like, lose. Um, I prefer something... I would prefer something like RC Pro-Am or even, you know, uh, Off-Road uh, to this game. They're very similar to this, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. If you like this game, good for you, um, but I, I find the course is a little too challenging. So those are my thoughts on it. Well, what is this guy doing? He's like... Doing a bunch of, like, e-brakes. Maybe I wasn't even racing properly. Maybe you can, like, drift in this game, like, uh, you know, uh, Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift style or something. I don't know. Anyway, what do you guys think of this game? You know, have I got it right? Is it kind of like a fun old Sega Genesis game, but a little challenging? Or have I got it wrong? Am I missing something? Or uh, maybe I just... Oh, they're racing over corn. Okay, we didn't see these levels, so clearly there must be other levels. Uh, but maybe I've got it wrong. You know, maybe there's something I was missing about this game or not getting right. Whatever the case may be, feel free to leave your own thoughts in the comments down below. And also, whatever you think about my opinion of the game, hopefully I've made today entertaining for you. If I have, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. Because I will see you soon with another video in the ongoing quest to play through the book. A thousand one games you must play before you die. And uh, you don't want to miss out on that. So until next time, my friends, you take care of yourselves. Continue racing your tiny, tiny machines. And we will see you next time. Peace. Tournament, tournament, turbo, tournament, turbo, turbo, tournament, turbo, 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 tournament, 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 tournament.